For this lesson, I'm working with the project file 0304 move clips in a sequence. You can find that project file with the media associated with this lesson. Essentially, editing is adding, removing, or moving clips in a sequence. It's common to discover your sequence would work better if you change the order the clips play in. And let's look at some ways to move clips in a sequence. I've got a very simple sequence here with five clips, one after another, and they have linked audio. If I take one of these clips and drag it over the top of another clip, because I have the snapping turned on on the timeline, I know that this is going to line up at the very beginning of the clip because it's jumping into position. When I release the mouse button, a gap is left behind, and the new clip has actually overwritten. It's laid on top of the original clip that was in this position. I'll just zoom in a tiny bit more so you can see the names of those clips a little better. I'm going to undo that with Control Z or Command Z on Mac OS. And I'm going to do the same thing again, but this time I'm going to drag over to the beginning of the clip. And now I'm going to hold down the Control key here on Windows. This would be the Command key on Mac OS before I release the mouse. And you can see I'm getting these arrows on every track indicating that something's going to happen on those tracks. So I'm releasing the mouse now and you can see what's happened. I still have a gap where the clip was before, but now the whole of the kids rolling a tire shot is intact. Premiere Pro has inserted the temple from above clip. And these are really the two ways in which you can work with clips in a sequence. You can overwrite, replacing the content that was there before, or you can insert pushing everything out of the way. Because just as the kids rolling a tire clip has moved out of the way, so has the next clip, people shelter from the rain. We've got the gap that was originally there. I'm going to navigate over a little bit so you can see it. And that last shot, everything's moved along in the timeline, including the gap that the clip was in originally. Now I'm going to undo that and just scroll over a little so you can see all of these clips. The timeline panel has a linked selection mode where you can turn off the linking between the video and the audio parts of clips for everything in the timeline panel. I'm just going to turn that feature back on though so that everything is selected together. But you also have the option to unlink individual clips. So here, for example, I'm going to right click on this people shelter from the rain clip and I'm going to choose unlink. Right away, you can see the audio is deselected. And this means if I want to, I can move just the video. You can see the duration of those clips was pretty similar, but I've got a tiny little bit left of the clip before it. So I'm going to undo. Now, of course, whether or not this clip has linking enabled, I can turn off link selection for the whole sequence. And if I want to, I can take all three of these. I'm just dragging out a marquee or a lasso selection to get the video from all three of these clips. And I can drag them over to an earlier point of the timeline. This isn't going to do much for my audio, of course, where I've left it behind. And you can see this unlinked clip isn't giving me a warning because I've told Premiere Pro not to worry about the connection between the two clips, the video and the audio. But these later clips are still linked. And so although I've turned off linked selection, Premiere Pro knows that there's a 2 second and 11 frame gap between the positions of these video and audio clips. So I'll just undo again with Control or Command Z and I'll put link selection back on. We can also break clips into pieces. This clip was just a little too long for my purposes. So I'm going to get this razor tool. And with the razor tool, I'm going to click round about the middle of the clip to separate it into two. And then I'll get my selection tool and drag the clip over to overwrite the beginning of that kids rolling a tire shot. But I've got a problem. If you recall, I turned off linking for the clip which means when I clicked with the razor tool, I left the audio behind. I'm going to undo again and again. And now I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to lasso across them or marquee select across them, right click and choose link. Now Premiere Pro knows that these two parts of the clip are connected. So I can go to the razor tool and click, go back to the selection tool. And now the audio comes with the video. Now you can move clips around in a sequence in a number of ways. As long as you remember time moves from left to right, you can plan your sequence for maximum impact.